Good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to Talbot Heath Speech Day 2021. And this is an opportunity for us to celebrate the achievements of our senior pupils over the past year, and in particular, the achievements of our GCSE and A-level pupils. 2020 was an extraordinary year with lockdowns, a global pandemic, and remote learning, but we still managed to achieve a fantastic amount as a school. Let's have a look. So good morning, everybody. It's very exciting to welcome you all back from learning remotely to on-site provision. You will look back on these times and you will think that you had to dig really deep in 2020 to cope with all that came your way but you did it and you should be very proud of yourselves so at the start of the new academic year we look ahead positively and we rejoice in the fact that although in bubbles we are all back so i know friday's assemblies are pretty exciting anyway but this morning i have to say is well it's off the scale exciting even mr Craddock hula hooping in space can't compare with this because we have a special celebrity live Zoom assembly. What could possibly go wrong? that I could do cartwheels. I'm driving home for Christmas. They're cheering, Mrs. Linden's group are cheering for the end of, of 2020. Should we give 2021 a big cheer? Come on, 2021. Hooray for 21, come on. But I have to say, any school can, that can crack a global pandemic well, Talbot Heath can. You have been amazing. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. And it's wonderful to welcome you all at the start of the spring term. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can see, I'll be to say boys only you've got to watch out because senor castro that pop idol crown i think he's he's coming for you with with his fan base there bring me love sweet love bring me fun bring me sunshine bring me love happy easter everyone from me i hope the sun shines on us all and we have a great three weeks Looking forward to it myself very much indeed, catching up with things. What was that? <laughs> Whoa, can I have an Easter egg? Everybody give the Easter Bunny a wave. Have a fantastic holiday. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming for 
is their special assembly. This is their final day in Upper Five. They've worked really hard, they've had all their assessments. assembly is a really special one. It is for our upper six pupils. It is their very last day of school. They have done 15 years. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Good morning, everybody. Can you believe it that we have made it to the end of the academic year? Should we give it a cheer for the end of the year? Yay! End of year. <laughs> I can hear people cheering all around the corridors. And Upper Five, I have to commend you. You have dealt with everything so maturely, so well. You've developed such resilience and pulled together and be so supportive of one another. You deserve a round of applause. So you are superstars, Upper Five. Well done. And you have been an amazing Upper Six. You have been so resilient this year and last year, dealing with everything over the last two years. And you are full of fun, you're determined, you are full of character. Um, you're all individuals, which is what I love about you. And we will really, really miss you. But I know that every single one of you are gonna go on and make your mark in life because um, you're not beige and you're not wishy-washy and um, all the better for it. So we wish you every success in the future. So there's so many wonderful memories, and one of which was results day for our A-level students, which was a day full of celebration. We can see them here, smiling, cheering, and the upper six did brilliantly. The pass rate across the whole year group was 100%, and not only that, but 95% of all grades achieved by our upper six were A star to B level. So a huge congratulations from us for those stunning results. And those brilliant grades meant that 100% of our pupils got into their university of choice with 97% attaining their university of first choice. So congratulations, last year's upper six, you did amazingly well. And our staff have a special message for you. A-level RS class. Brilliant two years. The adversity, the overcoming remote learning, the overcoming my absolute lack of knowledge when it came to technology was really, really good. Highlight for me was when I was self-isolating at home, but you were all in the classroom still there listening to me rabbit on about philosophy and theology. Uh, well done. Uh, I hope you go on to absolutely amazing things. Um, you're an absolute credit to yourselves. Brilliant. Congratulations on your A-level results. Your passion for classics, your positivity and enthusiasm made you a real pleasure to teach. I particularly enjoyed taking you to London where we went on a mad quest around the British Museum searching for various Greek vases and we watched a very unusual and surreal Greek play. Have a great time at university, always believe in yourselves and make sure you keep in touch. Amy and Fran, I am so proud of you. I can't believe how hard you work and it was such a pleasure to be your teacher. I loved teaching you physics because you were incredibly intelligent and just lovely people. And I really, really, really liked tasting ice creams and mince pies and hot with with you. 
I think I'm speaking for all of the teachers of the A-level cohort when I say that we're all incredibly proud of you. Proud not just of your academic achievements and the universities that you went to, but of the way you behaved over the last two years at Talbot Heath. The way you supported each other, cared for each other, and we're just a fantastic team. It really does speak a lot to your characters and what you brought to the school. I was asked for funny stories and things that happened over the last two years, but to be honest, there are just too many of them, too many silly little jokes, too many little things that popped up in lessons. A few things do really stick out to me. When my, my daughter was born, the week I came back to school, the girls had brought a little soft toy for her, which I thought was really sweet, and that more than made up for the pink highlighter that they gave me the year before, although that highlighter was wrapped beautifully at the time. The final message I'd like to give to everybody is just to take from your time at Talbot Heath not just those great grades but uh, to take with you a love of learning, a love of literature and the friendships that you've made at the school. A big big congratulations to the girls I took to Cambodia because it was a tough time and you survived and that is an amazing thing to have on your CV. I would like to say a fantastic congratulations to the wonderful singers in the upper six. You really made my year with your stunning performances. Ruby, Bethany, Anna, you were the light of my life last year. You really made teaching an absolute pleasure and thank you so much and I wish you all the best for the future. Take care, all of you. Congratulations on completing your extended projects so successfully. I was so impressed with your resilience during lockdown and all the creative solutions you had to find when um, all the museums and loop libraries were shut. I hope the research skills you learned are gonna be proving very useful soon at university. Have a great time on your new courses and I look forward to hearing how you're getting on. Well, goodbye, Upper Six. I wanted to say very well done to you all uh, for the way you've handled the past two years. You have been fabulous. You have embraced everything day after day in spite of um, you know all the hurdles that came in the way you have not only worked extremely hard and managed to achieve all these fantastic grades but you have also um, been involved in in everything uh, such as uh, the sixth form committee uh, the Rwanda committee you have raised money for numerous charities and you have achieved an awful lot I'm very proud of you it's been a real pleasure to work with you and whatever your path may be, I wish you all the very, very best. And please don't be strangers. We always love to hear what, what you have become and we will always love to, to see you uh, when you visit us. Take care, all of you. So now it gives me great pleasure to uh, announce our award winners from last year's Upper Six. And we start with the awards for academic excellence. And these are being awarded to Chloe Brewer, to Amy Chanuk, and to Jasmine Fry, to E.B. Holloway, Ruby King, and Isabel O'Rourke. Jess Holloway, Roya Kalahi, and Lucia Romero Pratton. And to Talani Ratnayaki, Francesca Rowley, and Armina Siddiqui Niaraki. So well done to all of you on your Academic Excellence Awards. Next, we have our awards for our head girl and our deputy head girl teams. So the Austin Smith Award for Head Girls goes to Emily Dixon and Francesca Rowley. And the Hardy Awards for our Deputy Head Girls go to Isabel O'Rourke and to Lydia Glanville. Well done to you. And the following Upper Six Pupils receive special awards. The Mabel Fletcher Award for School Service goes to Ruby King, the Shona Baker Award for Perseverance and Achievement goes to Amy Chanuk, and the Governor's Special Award goes to Francesca Rowley. So congratulations to all of you 
on those very special awards. Our upper six have headed off to a fantastic range of destinations across the UK and the globe. And it's lovely, I've seen some faces joining us this morning live. Um, and I hope that if you've started your studies this year, um, that they're going very well and you're enjoying your time at university. I know, I hope Abby's over in the States already with her tennis scholarship at Campbell University. And there are a number of you who are enjoying a gap year before starting next September. So congratulations, but what a breadth of courses and universities there uh, to inspire all of our younger students. We wish our pupils every success in the next exciting phase of their lives. And we have received the following news regarding the success of former pupils who have just completed their degree courses. Staff will know uh, some of those names and they have done incredibly well and we are very, very proud of them, uh, gaining top class degrees at fantastic universities um, in the UK and abroad um, in such a breadth of courses. So well done to all our former pupils um, and thank you for sending us news of your progress since leaving Talbot Heath and please stay in touch with us. We now have a message from our Chair of Governors, Mrs Clody Sutcliffe. As Chair of Governors, I know my colleagues would wish me to pass on our congratulations for all the successes our Talbot Heath girls have achieved. My goodness, what a challenging time you've all had. But when I watched our pupils receive their A-level and GCSE results, I was struck by an immense sense of pride and respect for how they dealt with all the uncertainties of the past few months. Not only have the girls achieved success academically, their sporting, musical and artistic talents have absolutely amazed me. Confident, polite, questioning young women. The head and her incredible staff have had to adapt at very short notice with the switch to homeschooling, the move back onto site on top of the day-to-day -day care of our girls. Parents and pupils, you've had to show resilience, flexibility and determination in abundance. Also behind the scenes, I've had the pleasure of working alongside a brilliant team of governors who have given up their time in order to assist and support the head and her staff. I have to say a huge thank you to you all. We wish our girls every success and happiness in the new chapters of their lives. You will always be part of the Talbot Heath School community. Whatever you choose to do in life, always carry the school motto, honour before honours, close to your hearts. And remember, life is a journey with problems to solve, lessons to learn, but most of all, experiences to enjoy. Thank you, Mrs Sutcliffe. Now, at this point, I would like to congratulate all those pupils who took their GCSE exams last summer. And they did brilliantly. 66% of all grades achieved by our GCSE students were grades seven to nine, a really fantastic statistic. You can see their smiling faces on results day for GCSE, they were delighted and you can also see the relief after that journey um, through lockdown and through those pandemic months, um, hard work had paid off and they had done wonderfully well. So our staff would like to say a special well done message to last year's Upper Five. I just wanted to say a massive well done to our Upper Five GCSE PE group. Uh, not only were you amazing to teach and uh, we had some really good laughs and some great interactive uh, learning going on but you all achieved some fantastic results and so on behalf of the PE department we want to say thank you and well done and all the best for the future. Hello Upper Five from last year, I just want to say a really big well done to my wonderful group who I will forever think of as Elliot's Fan Club, you'll know what I mean. Um, what an amazing achievement. You've not only survived two years of geography with me, you did it during a pandemic, on Zoom for a lot of the time, 
and without our normal supply of cake, which um, seems to have been our main fuel for the year. We all managed to seize every opportunity, um, despite being remote for some of it. I know some of you preferred that, some of you didn't, but it was sort of a nice little opportunity to sneakily sort of sneak into each other's houses. I know which ones of you were still on your mobile phones, you little devils. Um, snacking, Maisie Chan, chocolate bars at the ready every lesson. Um, and I do apologise once again for the builders in my house who rudely interrupted one lesson. I'm pleased you've always said you never heard what they said out loud. I do hope that's the case. I suppose I really just want to wish you all the best for the future, to remind you of everything you have achieved and hopefully to make you realise what that means that you can achieve in the future. Importantly, be kind. Don't worry about other stuff. That's really, really important. Always come back to TH, we're here for you. And remember, you're my geographers at heart. That will never change. Good luck, Upper Five. GCSERS class, I wanted to say congratulations on a challenging two years, but you absolutely smashed it. From the discussions around ethics and, and learning about uh, Buddhism and Christianity, in particular the meditation lessons, where I'm still fairly sure you all fell asleep. Uh, but you know what? We needed it after the year we had. Um, so well done, congratulations, and I hope you go on to amazing things. The last two years of the GCSE course were a huge challenge for everybody. And along with being proud for the achievements you girls have all made academically, you should all be really proud of the resilience that you have shown. And it's that resilience that's going to really help you in the next stage of your school, careers, or whatever you've decided to do. I hope that you take from Talbot Heath not just the grades, and not just the um, successes you've had academically, but that you take your friendships with you as well, that you stay in touch with those people who you've met at your time here. I know that we as teachers have lots of fond memories of teaching you and I hope that you have lots of fond memories of being with us at Talbot Heath that you take forward in your lives. So congratulations to you all who did amazing in your GCSEs and some of you I've taught for a very very long time from being tiny year sevens right up to year 11 so some of you I know super well. Good luck to you all in your future lives and I will sign off now from Mrs Luke. Congratulations on your GCSE results. I've got some great memories of you during lockdown. Alicia finishing off sewing one of her dresses at the start of lessons. Ruby's lovely dogs popping in to say hello in the lessons. You were always so positive and cheerful in lessons despite the challenges of lockdown. Good luck for the future and keep in touch. Upper Five, I am so proud of all of you. You worked so hard and you had such a difficult time. It was so lovely to be your physics teacher and your chemistry teacher for some of you. Our lessons were fun, you were lovely and I just hope you are really proud of everything you've achieved. So well done to our Upper Five. Now we're going to have a look back at the sporting year at Talbot Heath. So much happening, so many achievements. Let's have a watch.
So well done all our sports women and there is so much information there that we're going to be sending out that program with all the details to those who have featured in it and to our upper five and upper six uh, pupils from last year. Now at this point we would like to say well done to those who attained their DOV awards. It was an unusual year in lockdown, but silver to Evie Gerson and Evie Holloway and bronze to Amy Chanick and Abigail Grindy, so well done to you. And we go on to our music awards. So congratulations to the following pupils who have been awarded cups and prizes. The Stravinsky Composition Cup has been awarded to Charlotte Taylor. And the awards for effort and achievement in music years seven to nine have been awarded to Millie Hiscox, Daisy Dean, Maya Patel, Katie Wong, Heidi Yao, Rebecca Allenby Smith. Performer of the year has been awarded to Lucy Hiscox. And the Cadenza Award for the instrumentalist showing the most promise has been awarded to Ruby King. The Mary Simmons Cup for all round contribution has been awarded to Ruachin Yin. And the Elizabeth Sylvester Memorial Award has been awarded to Bethany Russell. And if we look at the next slide, we can see just how many music certificates have been awarded um, across the whole school. So congratulations to all of those who have taken music exams in the past 12 months um, and have uh, achieved success in their music exams. We also have a number of pupils who have been uh, awarded certificates and medals for drama and dance, speaking verse and prose. So congratulations to all of you. And we look forward very much to seeing you perform in this year's music and drama productions. Uh, and it's wonderful to have those back again live. We move on now to look at the achievements of our mathematicians. So congratulations go to all of those who have participated in the maths challenges, the intermediate kangaroo, the junior kangaroo and the junior mathematics challenge. Congratulations to all of you on those awards. And in our senior mathematics challenge, congratulations to all those pupils who attained silver and bronze awards. In the Intermediate Mathematics Challenge, which is the next level up, we have some fantastic achievements there. But particular mention must go to Dory. Uh, Dory achieved merit in the Intermediate Mathematics Olympiad, which is for the very best mathematicians internationally. So congratulations to all of you on those wonderful achievements. Now we finish our speech day this morning with words from our guest speaker. And our guest speaker today is Charlotte McRae. She left Talbot Heath in 2011, and she has some special words to say to all of you. Hello, I am Charlotte McRae, and want to start by saying a big thank you for the invitation to be part of your special speech day. It's a real honor to be here to recognize your achievements and celebrate with you today. And it's a pleasure to be supporting Talbot Heath School, where I had many fantastic years from year nine, being a boarder at the school and balancing my learning with my training schedule as an international level athlete. I stand before you, albeit virtually, as a former TH girl. You are part of a very special moment in our history. You were the girls who kept moving forward when the rest of the world stood still. You were the girls who were empowered by knowledge in a world full of so many unknowns. You are the girls that showed togetherness whilst rules required us to be isolated. On reflection, your success is even more special and even more memorable. And the thank yous to your classmates, your parents, your teachers, the support staff and Mrs Holloway are even more wholehearted and even more deserved. The courage you have shown throughout this difficult time is something you must hold on to, 
And the pearl of wisdom I would like to share with you today is having the courage to begin again. I have had many new beginnings and it has been my courage to change that has enabled me to find new challenges and new successes. One of my early bouts of courage was moving to Talbot Heath to start year nine. As a boarder, I was a long way from everything I called home up in Lincolnshire and had to balance my upcoming GCSE studies with a 20 hour training schedule at the local swimming club. This included tiptoeing out of the boarding house at 4.30 in the morning to catch a taxi to the morning training session. Trying hard not to wake up my roommate, my bestest friend and school tennis star, Anna Woosley, who wouldn't talk to me over breakfast if I deprived her of her beauty sleep. Anna and I remain the bestest friends and she sends her best wishes to everybody as she begins her new role to touring the world with the WTA. But moving school to Talbot Heath was a new experience for me. And my courage to begin again at this new school meant I was able to become a TH girl and enjoy all that comes with being part of this family. Lifelong friends, excellent qualifications, a new skill set and a love of learning. I left this school enriched. During my time at Talbot Heath, I was also inspired by the courage of Mrs Holloway, who began her headship during my final year at the school. Even during those earlier months, her forward thinking vision, her desire to foster intellectual curiosity through spectacular new exploratory teaching methods was inspiring and courageous. It made it more difficult to leave Talbot Heath, as it was clear that Mrs Holloway had arrived to make a difference. And wow, what a difference she has made. I have, however, also needed the courage to deviate from the path that was set out in front of me. I first thought I wanted to be a lawyer whilst being sat where you are today. After reading politics and economics and graduating from the University of Bath, I completed my graduate diploma in law and qualified whilst working as a data protection manager for a FTSE 100 company in London. My career path was clear and had an upward trajectory. The sky seemed the limit but I wasn't happy. It took a while to realise, but the role didn't celebrate all the things that made me who I am. I was not proud of the person I was becoming. I had to make a change and I had to rely on my courage to take a big step into the unknown. I thought that people would think less of me. I imagined a life with much less success. I reconsidered many times and often tried to convince myself that what I was feeling was wrong. But courageously, I changed career path to teaching. I am now one of the mathematics subject leads at one of the largest primary academies in Lincolnshire. Instead of feeling lost and ashamed, I felt empowered. It reignited my love of learning from Talbot Heath, and to my surprise, everyone around me said, of course you go into teaching, that makes so much sense. I'm surprised you didn't qualify as a teacher before now. You're happiest when you're teaching children, Charlotte. And what I realised was that courage isn't always pursuing the goals you set yourself in front, right in front of you. Instead, courage can be re-evaluating those goals and taking a different step to the one that might be set out right in front of you. And I look forward to the next time I have the opportunity to begin again as I now know that I have the, the courage to embrace these new challenges and still be successful. As I think about how you are feeling today, I remember how big a moment this is and this was in my life. One of those special periods when you have time to reflect, to plan and to dream. Whatever you are planning next, know that there, there are no right or wrong decisions at this stage. Whatever you choose, make the most of your opportunities and be the person that you are most proud of. Be courageous as you start new beginnings, but have the courage to begin again in the future. I would like to finish with a quote attributed to F. Scott Fitzgerald and his short story, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. For what it's worth, it's never too late or too early to be for whoever and whatever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no, no rules to this thing. 
you can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life that you are proud of. And if you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. Congratulations again to all of you. Good luck and thank you. So thank you so much to Lottie for sending that special message in today. Um, I remember very well that first year as head teacher here and um, she and her friends gave me a bunch of flowers at the end of the year and it was very special. So thank you to everyone who has been involved in today's speech day. It's been a lot of work for us to try and pull it together uh, virtually for you. But can we finish off by giving particularly our last year's upper five and upper six a huge round of applause. Well done, you did brilliantly. Congratulations to everybody across the whole of Talbot Heath School on another incredible year. And here's to the next one.